Imagine waking up one day to find out that scientists in Russia have just pulled off a monumental feat. They've successfully revived 24,000-year-old zombie worms. Yes, you heard that right. Zombie worms. And no, they don't come with a side of brains or an insatiable thirst for human flesh. Instead, they're microscopic creatures called Badeloid rotifers. And they've been chilling in Siberian permafrost since the end of the Pleistocene epoch. That's right, folks. These tiny critters have been frozen in time longer than your grandma's fruitcake. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is a Badeloid rotifer? Well, they're not your everyday garden variety worm. These little guys are like the superheroes of the microscopic world. They can go into something called cryptobiosis, which is basically their version of a deep freeze. When conditions get tough, think extreme temperatures, drought, or even radiation. They hit the snooze button on life. They curl up, shut down, and wait it out, sometimes for thousands of years. Talk about a power nap. So. How did these Russian scientists manage to wake up our tiny friends? With the gentle touch of a skilled barista making your morning latte, they carefully extracted these rotifers from soil that's been frozen solid for eons. After thawing them out, they witnessed something incredible. The rotifers resumed their life processes. They didn't just stretch and yawn. They got right back to business including asexual reproduction. That's right, these little guys can clone themselves. If only we could all pull that off after a long night out, am I right? But let's pause for a moment and appreciate the implications of this groundbreaking research. The study of these revived rotifers is not just a quirky science experiment. It contributes significantly to the field of cryobiology. This is the science of preserving life at low temperatures, and it has potential applications that could change the way we think about agriculture, especially when it comes to farming on Mars. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're talking about growing crops on the red planet. Picture it, space farmers in shiny spacesuits tending to their crops of intergalactic potatoes while dodging Martian dust storms. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, can we do this with humans? Well, not quite yet. While the revival of Bedeloid rotifers is a monumental step forward, applying similar techniques to humans is a whole different ballgame. Our biology is way more complex than that of a tiny worm. We've got organs, systems, and a penchant for emotional drama that these rotifers simply don't have. So for now, it looks like we'll have to leave the whole cryogenic revival thing to the worms and stick with our regular life cycles. This isn't the first time scientists have managed to bring ancient organisms back to life. In fact, Bedeloid rotifers are joining a growing list of ancient life forms that have been resurrected after thousands of years in frozen stasis. There's moss, nematodes, and even some bacteria that have taken a long vacation in the icy depths of Earth only to be revived by modern science. It's like a time capsule of life, and scientists are the archaeologists digging it up. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on the sheer audacity of these tiny creatures. Imagine living for 24,000 years, only to wake up in a world filled with smartphones, TikTok dances, and people who can't seem to figure out how to use a can opener. If I were a B. Deloid rotifer, I'd probably have a lot of questions. What happened to the woolly mammoths? Where did all the ice go? And why is everyone so obsessed with avocado toast? But here's the kicker. These rotifers are not just ancient relics. They're living proof of resilience. They've survived ice ages, climate changes, and who knows what else. They're like the ultimate survivalists, teaching us that life finds a way, 
even in the harshest conditions, it's a humbling reminder that nature is full of surprises and that sometimes the smallest beings can hold the biggest secrets. Now, as we dive deeper into the world of cryobiology and the possibilities it holds, we can't help but wonder what other ancient life forms are out there just waiting for their moment to shine. Is there a frozen dinosaur somewhere, sleeping peacefully under layers of ice, dreaming of the days when it roamed the Earth? Or perhaps a prehistoric plant that could revolutionize our understanding of botany? The possibilities are endless, and that's what makes science so thrilling. As we wrap up our journey through the icy landscapes of Siberia and the miraculous revival of Bedeloid rotifers, Let's take a moment to appreciate the brilliance of science. It's a field that constantly pushes boundaries, challenges our understanding, and opens doors to new realms of discovery. Who knows what the future holds? Maybe one day, we'll find a way to harness the secrets of cryptobiosis to help us tackle some of the biggest challenges we face today, from climate change to food security. In the meantime, let's raise a toast with a glass of water, of course, to the Betaloid rotifers, tiny, resilient, and now officially the oldest living organisms to be revived. They've shown us that life can endure even the harshest conditions and that there's always hope for a comeback, no matter how long you've been sleeping. So the next time you feel a little sluggish, just remember, if a worm can take a 24,000 year nap and wake up ready to party, then you can certainly tackle your day one cup of coffee at a time. And who knows, maybe one day we'll all be able to take a little snooze and wake up in a world where we can grow crops on Mars, clone ourselves, and have conversations with 24,000 year old worms. Until then, Let's keep exploring, questioning, and celebrating the wonders of science, because every discovery is a step closer to understanding the incredible tapestry of life that surrounds us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit subscribe plus notifications for more new fascinating content. Be well, and see you in the next video.